What if we give it a little bit? Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this thing goes up and goes. It's got a ton of torque. Now, yes. It's Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pedro, in today's video, we're gonna get behind the wheel of this awesome 2021 Ram 3500 heavy duty pickup truck. Very excited to get my hand behind the wheel of this awesome, gonna be my first time driving a 3500 heavy duty Ram truck. But kind of coincidence, I have just gone off, I just drove a Ford F450 dually, so that was my first dually. This will be basically my second dually, basically in sequence, basically in a row. So guys, this is basically, you know, the biggest and one of the baddest Ram trucks that you can get. Want to get first? Want to give a big shout out to Barto Ford, which they are kind of behind us here, for allowing me some time with this awesome Ram 3500. Really appreciate them, and a big thank you to them. Sorry, guys. So here we have. This is basically a limited, uh, basically top of the line Ram 3500 uh, with the turbo diesel, the 6.7 liter inline six turbo diesel. Now this is a 4x4 model, and this is the Mega Cab. Obviously, I know the Mega Cab. I mean, this this uh, Mega so Cabs are not easy to find. Uh, if you order one, of course you have to wait. But if you try to find one on dealer's lots i think these are not easy to find now of course we have a semi-used one this has got just about 16,000 miles on it this one is done in a diamond black which looks awesome now this one does have the midnight package or the midnight black package which kind of blackens out the whole exterior of this ram including interior parts you can see guys all the interior lights this led lights are blacked out all the all the front of the uh, hood all the all the hood everything is blacked out even the ram name all of it's blacked out there's not one inch of chrome or any type of aluminum really awesome this way this uh, ram 1500 this one this one 3500 looks I just love the way this is it's just you know kind of that finish to look to the ram uh, 3500 so as you can see you got the dually back here we got the lights everything's even those little lights are blacked out we got black wheels on this one here with uh 275 meter 17 inch necks and tires so as you can see uh, we got some more mark lights here here in the back everything is blacked out as well including some of the lighting bumper is also blacked out limited edition all the all the lettering and everything is done in black this is basically uh, about a 1300 dollar package from dodge uh, excuse me from ram that uh ram offers for this uh, basically almost every truck they have now this one here guys of course is powered by the 6.7 liter turbo diesel inline six with about 1075 horse uh, horsepower uh, 1075 pound feet of torque I, I believe this is the high output version in this ram pickup obviously there's two versions of the of the diesel one with about uh, 370 horsepower, this has got 400 horsepower, and one's got about 850 pumping the torque. This has got 1,075. So I think it's basically the leader in the torque wars of heavy duty diesel trucks. Now this one here, guys, of course, everybody loves the Mega Cab. Of course, you can get regular cab, or you can get the crew cab, or you can get the Mega Cab as in this one. Uh, this one, unfortunately, is available with the six foot four inch uh, bed, which is it's kind of smaller bed compared to the. Uh, F450 that I drove that was a dually with a, with a crew cab that had an 8-foot bed. This is only available in a 6.4-foot uh, bed, which is kind of unfortunate. Some people like it uh, much bigger. Now, of course, this what are the main things about these trucks? These things are made to haul, made to, made to tow. Uh, this thing's over around the mid-30s, 35, 34,000. I'll put all the numbers for you guys in the screen. I know it varies by dependence on the uh, options and all that, but this ones can tow pretty good amounts. Obviously, this one's got, the, uh, if you open up, go ahead and open up the back here. Let's go ahead and open up soft uh, opening 
bed door here. So can you guys, this is prepared for the fifth wheel here. So this thing can tow, I think almost up to 35,000 pounds. I'll put all those numbers up guys on the screen. I believe you're gonna put like five, 6,000 pounds also in the bed here as well. I'll uh, definitely put all those numbers for you guys up on the screen to make sure I got some of the correct numbers I can. Of course, here we got a window in the back. We also supposed to have a camera here. I didn't see it working, but we do have a bed, uh, excuse me, a camera for the bed as well. We got, of course, here connections, 400 watt connections here, three prong connections for all the necessities you have. And of course, as you can see, this has got a bed liner as well inside to help to protect the bed inside. So really cool, really nice, spacious bed. Only six and a half feet, but about six and a half, just under six and a half feet. Obviously, everybody wants a little bigger bed. I heard it's a little bit of a challenge to put a, a gooseneck in here with this shorter bed, but you know, the pants might get a, I think they have an extension for that or some sort of arrangement, but uh, I'm not a expert in basically towing at all. I have never towed anything except probably you haul a little thing, but other than that, uh, awesome truck nonetheless, guys. So let's go ahead again and race this up. As you can see guys we have reverse camera here all this is in black of course here we got your receiver hitch for your tort for your trailer and uh, just awesome awesome the way this looks i really love the way this done obviously this will definitely benefit from some nicer wheels uh if you go you guys and see my f450 that has some fuel wheels i think those wheels will look fantastic in the truck as well uh even though this wheels are this nice black wheels are nice i think they deserve some much better wheels so as you can see guys, this, uh, this model that we have here is a 4x4 model. Uh, it does not have any type of off-road package or anything like that. This is just kind of your base model. So as you can see, we got some more marklets here on the top. We've got the antenna as well here because obviously this big trucks that are wide require uh, basically more lighting or more marker lights for the specific DOT required. But it's really cool. I mean, this, is, this truck has got all the, all the bells and whistles being limited. This is the top of the line model. It's got an awesome leather interior as we'll see in a few moments. So we got LED headlights, LED fog lights lights all kinds of really nice modern lighting that this truck has so it's got all the things of course we got the ram huge wheel in black as this package comes with so also the wheels are done in black as well as you can see uh but really awesome the way this ram 3500 so as you can see guys we got the extended kind of like a like a limousine extension on this uh bed inside of course of course this cab inside of this ram 3500 all right guys so one cool feature that this truck does have automatic running boards as you can see once we open the door we got those running boards stepping out or basically lowering once you open the door which is awesome i can see guys absolutely beautiful interior we'll take a look at it in just a few moments let's go ahead and pop the hood to check out that coming engine that we have underneath this ram all right so let's go ahead and open up the hood guys here and i think that we have some hydraulic shocks i'm sure it's quite a heavy hood here all right guys so here we have the 6.7 liter inline six turbo diesel engine now of course there are two versions of this engine we have basically the regular one and the high output i believe this is the high output one here we got 420 horsepower 1075 pound feet of torque which is awesome this is going to the all-wheel drive system via a six-speed ISIN ASIN I think it's an ASIN six-speed uh, automatic transmission now of course uh, this has got 420 horsepower if you get the other lower version of the Cummins you get 370 horsepower 850 pound feet of torque and we also have a regular gas V8 with about 410 horsepower that's a 6.4 liter uh, V8 so that, that's part of basically that's basically your options but this 3500 or uh, this is where the uh this high output engine is only available in this 3500 basically version of the ram so we got a lot of torque in this asian special six-speed transmission and of course going to this all-wheel drive system so it's an awesome engine now of course if you have to ask what's the fuel fuel economy then this is, might not be the truck for you because obviously this thing's probably average maybe 13 12 15 miles to the gallon um, combined but uh, there the ap doesn't give any rating on what this thing's but you can probably find out that's what i've seen in some magazines they average about 15 miles per gallon combined uh basically mileage for for the ac so it's pretty cool truck and change i guess because rem heavy duty trucks really awesome and you know compared to the four four has a you know diesel uh basically a turbo diesel v8 uh this is basically an inline six with so quite a bit of difference in power lines and powertrains and i believe also chevy offers uh, some other one i think it's also a diesel v8 so but i guess let's go ahead and bring the hood down you can see a little a little uh, hard to get but it's not bad at all and let's go ahead and shot the hood of this awesome ram 35 let's go ahead and check out the interior of this mega cab ram so as you can see guys we got that lowering running board that goes around which is really cool it kind of helps you assist to get up here because it is quite high for this truck not as high as the ford uh, f450 that i touched up the one was a little higher because of the f4 fx4 package but this is still a little bit of higher truck so you can see guys awesome the way this is completely different than the ford the ford was basically a regular xl and it's not a fair comparison because this is a top of the line you know a limited trim here of course we got beautiful finishes to the interior leather all kinds of uh, stitching here which is really nice you know aluminum interior accents really awesome the way this is of course here we got uh, of course you got some extra room here in the back if you uh, lift this up here 
go ahead and put the seat down as you can see guys and we have a lot of room here you can put stuff here in the back not a ton but at least you got some extra room here in the back to slide the seats back and forth we do have a back window here that slides uh open and let's go ahead and put this up guys so of course we got some cup holders here as well and an armrest this uh, leather feels fantastic it's perfect as you can see guys really awesome the way this feels uh, let's go ahead guys and get inside so as you can see guys this truck is still uh you know it's a 15,000 16,000 mile uh mileage truck so it's still got even this you know leather carry guide here on the on the, i think nobody sat here in the back absolutely not so in the back here we got ac outlets we have usb connections these seats do heat up as well as you can see the seat heaters as well and we have a household 400 watt connection which is awesome let's see if we have anything underneath here i don't feel anything more uh, we got a couple of cup holders and a really nice trim which is really nice and awesome so well it's a little dark guys here i apologize if it's a little dark we have no way i think you can get a sort of as well on this one's but as you can see we got lights on this one you got some speakers as well as this has the top of the line uh bang and not a bang and also this has got a harman carnage system as well but uh awesome interior the little first fantastic lots of room as you can see guys and uh really really awesome of course i think you can i don't think there's any adjustments for this things so yes you can uh, yeah you can definitely uh tilt this uh this seat and it feels you know you can definitely sit down and, and do a nice sleep here which is really nice i love the way this is a lot of space in this cab and i think this is probably one of the most desired caps and i think it's one of the biggest in the industry as well bigger than the, even the the f-450s or the super cruise and even the chevy hts as well so all right let's go ahead guys and get to the front all right let's go ahead and get inside the driver's side of this limited ram 3500 so as you can see guys the same type of really soft leather really nice i mean this is really upscale i do believe that ram has the nicest interiors even of these heavy duty trucks they still do the same beautiful interior and definitely i think they're the top uh basically the top interior in terms of quality and the, the materials they use even about ford and of course chevy's always you know still catching up so but really full interior guys you can see we got all the speakers here as well the harman Kardon speaker here all concerned for your windows and mirrors we got a couple of seating uh you know memory settings for you as well so we got your power seats here with a perforated leather we got that ram here on the on the uh, basically the kit plate which is really nice carpets there for that so here we got so uh, going back to the steering wheel we got look at the steering wheel the way this is all really nice all this uh, trim here it is also uh stitched up really nice so we got uh basically a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel but we do have adjustable pedals here as well construction lights and everything here you guys you can see we got really nice also some stitching along the top of the dash here as well so let's go ahead, guys and uh jump into this interior all right, so we're inside already of this Ram's interior. As so you can see, it's basically the same as all basically Ram trucks. Really nice the way this is laid out. Lots of good visibility. Of course, if we had a panoramic sunroof, we got a little more lighting. Now, of course, it's got tinted windows, so it's a little darker. Hope we can see okay. Really nice. I mean, it's got a black headliner here, which is really nice. Doesn't get dirty. Uh, of course, here we got controls for everything. Let's go ahead, guys. And uh, first, let's go ahead and turn on the screw. I do have the key with me here. This is basically not like the Ford, which you got to insert the key, but that was basically a base model. Uh, it'd be the same thing with this kind of a uh, you know Ram truck as if it was a base model but this being the top of the line limited it's got all the way stuff so we got start being just go ahead and press our brake pedal and hit the stop bar to get everything going get that inline six turbo diesel started so as you can see guys awesome instrumentation really love the way dutch has a rest excuse me ram has done the layout of these interiors so i think they're basically the class leading in terms of interior quality and design let's go ahead guys and hear this inline six Definitely sounds much different than the V8, the diesel V8 and the F450. This one sounds like more like a semi truck <laughs> engines, but it does have a lot of torque, but it sounds pretty cool though. Of course, this is a Cummins engine, you know, from awesome uh, Cummins company. So, but all right, let's go ahead and close the door, get some more AC coming, because here in Central Florida right now, let's go ahead and put our seatbelt. It is about, uh, what does it say? It should be almost 100 degrees outside, 99 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's freaking hot. And the humidity is crazy as well. It's like being in a sauna. Sorry guys, I may, uh, I may open up the windows because the tin is a little dark. But uh, just checking out the interior, guys. You can see, let me go ahead and uh, adjust my seat a little bit here. Uh, we got this awesome 12 inch screen, guys. But let's start here a little bit further to the right. As you can see, we got basically an upper glove box as well as a lower lock box here, which is nice. We got a beautiful stitching on this. Really much, much, really nice uh, materials at Ford, at Ford. That Ram is using in the trucks, even on the heavy duty trucks. Of course, this is the top of the line. So we got a little more cubicle here. We got four USB connections along with an auxiliary to charge your two uh, basically uh, wireless phone charging and of course all this moves around a ton as you can see you can move it from your cup holders we got another uh, basically house connection there with 400 watts and lots of room here in the bottom now of course if we can lift this up here you can see you got more availability here we got lots of storage spaces here you can do which is awesome that's just the way trams are and of course if you lift this up you got some more room here as well to 
put your phone, all kinds of things. And there should be a connection here. Yep, there's a USB connection there that these strong, uh, this Ram trucks have. So it's awesome. I mean, this thing has a lot of connections, very user friendly, and I really love about the, about the Ram. So coming here, guys, in the middle, of course, you can see, guys, we got the Harman Kardon stereo. I think this is around 18 speakers that this this one has. You can get the Alpine stereo, the bass stereos. This has the top of the line Harman Kardon stereo, which I think is at 18 speakers. Uh, I'll correct that in the video, guys, up in the video if I miss those numbers. But really nice. Obviously, it's got a fantastic sound system. No, let's go ahead and yeah. Yeah, it's got an awesome system. This really sounds awesome, this system. So as you can see, guys, here we got cool seats, heated seats. We got heated steering wheel. Of course, we got navigation as well. If we get the navigation here. We got the navigation in color, which is awesome. Very quick to the touch here. Uh, it's got all kinds of media. Of course, you got controls for your heat seating, heat cooling, uh, all kinds of things. So we go back home. You know, there's a lot, a lot of features you can do. If you go to settings, of course, you can do the language display, voice in and units, control clock. I mean, I can spend all day here. I'm not gonna bore you with all the stuff that this has. So this is an awesome system. You connect four, if I'm correct, from from uh, Delantis. Then here, guys, we got your brake controller. Of course, here we got all kinds of auxiliary buttons as well. And here we have tow and haul. You can definitely switch to tow and haul mode, which might give a little more torque off the line. We got a brake uh, control here. If you want to brake with the engine, I think we got all your system stuff for basically a front and rear turning off your all your front and rear sensors. That's just really nice. So you know, they're really nice interior, guys. Over here we got controls for your two-wheel drive, all-wheel drive high or all-wheel drive low and also basically it looks like in a, looks like an intermediate here so really cool um, obviously we got a column shifter here as you can see we go for your six speed asian uh six speed transmission so of course guys coming here to the middle we got an awesome screen here as you can see you can switch between all kinds of speedometers miles per hour kilometers and you can do all kinds of connection settings all kinds of things you can do here guys so um lots of things you can do and and put here in terms of information so recently we got about 108 miles to go uh but it's really nice i love the way this interior layout is of this ram so you can adjust your steering wheel as well we got the light controls over here as well really awesome really is, yeah this is completely even uh, even a top of the line ford f450 will have a hard time competing with uh, the interior of this one here even though the ford has a new 12 inch screen that but it does this is still a really nice design all right guys so before we go uh, on the touch let's go ahead guys and just check out on, on the top here of course we got that control for your rear window there as you can see that opens up and closes which is awesome. So we got controls for your lights and all kinds of things here you can do. As you can see, guys, we got the map lights. We have basically an electronic mirror here with a camera. As you can see, you can definitely put that just basically the regular mirror or have the camera mirror, which is awesome. Of course, we got the little RAM here. And of course, we got a home link system here along with some more uh, basically mirrors there. Go guys and check out the reboot camera. So as you can see, guys, we got the camera here. We got a 360-degree camera. And of course, also got all kinds of, uh, of course, safety features from the system that uh, Stellantis uses. So we got, you know, front camera, we got a rear camera as well. We got a front camera, more panoramic view. We got also the rear camera. We also supposed to have, there we go, we got the bed camera as well, as you can see, guys. And you can definitely put that down and look at your hitch and uh, split mirrors in case you're backing up your trailer. So all kinds of fantastic, fantastic controls for your trailer and all kinds of assist to help you view. And you can definitely, you know, scoot it this way or that way. Yeah, just fantastic the way all this is. So of course, here we got your lane assist off and we got basically your checker control off and your hazards. And uh, but we got all kinds of controls here, of course, for your stereo here. Really awesome the way all this is laid out. So, all right, let's go ahead and head out and uh, let's go out for a test drive guys and check out the power of this ram now for some reason we got something that's off i think it's this button here but i don't know why uh it seems like it's just an off position so let's go ahead guys no it's coming let's do a quick turn around oh crap nope we're not gonna get to do it we have to back up and uh yeah but it was kind of off but this thing is just so cool but an awesome truck, nonetheless. Yeah, this thing sounds like a school bus, the, the Finline 6. <laughs> but at least I think that's what the school bus is used to Cummins engine. But uh, really awesome. This Obviously, this feels... Comparing to the Ford F450 that I drove, it's got the, they had the off-road package with the same diesel engine. This feels a lot smoother. Uh, it is a smaller truck. If we put them, I'll put them side by side if I can. This is definitely a little bit smaller in size. Obviously, this doesn't have any type of off-road off -road suspension tuning or anything like that. This is basically your base engine, or your base suspension on this 3500. So, but this feels feel fantastic, though, to be honest. And the mirror looks really nice. I really love the mirror. It's a really cool feature. So, nobody coming. Let's go ahead and check out. I'm going to wait for that car to go by. So a couple of cars to go by. We're gonna go off-road guys here a little bit, even though we're in two-wheel drive. 
But uh, yeah, this feels, this ramp feels fantastic. I mean, this still feel like a quality, like a more higher end truck. Uh, of course, you can make the Ford F50 like that as well. But then this, this special, this interior, let me just go ahead and... Yeah, really nice torque that this has. Now, yeah, this doesn't, now it goes my stuff. Uh, but yeah, this, this doesn't feel as heavy or, or a little, this feels a little bit more maneuverable than the Ford F50. Let's go ahead and put the camera, the camera, let's put the windows up. But um, yes, this is uh, this is still got a little bit of bouncy, but not as bouncy as the F450. I would say this is, uh, of course, this trucks with no weight on them. It's got leaf springs in the rear. Uh, it does have independent suspension in the front, but this thing's right a little bit jerry, especially where they're unloaded. And I mean, so, but it's still an awesome feeling truck. I mean, quiet, still very refined though, to be honest. And we have the buttons here in the back in the steering wheel. You can put your your volume up or not. These are not transmission, uh, basically shift gear, so or shift uh, paddles. So this is in kilometers. I just kind of missed that, as you can see, guys. <laughs> so, all right, let's do the settings here. I'm gonna switch that around. Two. So we can do it while in motion. Okay, so we're gonna stop by the. The brakes have a good, good pedal feel here. So as you can see, we put the uh, the speedometer in kilometers. So let's go ahead and see if I can switch that. No, no. Commercial settings. No, I don't want commercial settings. How do you go back? I have no idea. All right, guys, I gotta mess with that. But anyways, there we go. Now it's still a little bit intimidating, even though it's a big truck and it's not easy, it's pretty easy to drive. But if we give it a little bit, come on, there we go. There we go. Yeah, this thing goes up and goes, it's got a ton of torque. Now, yes, it does feel very bouncy, the suspension. I can feel it. This is a big truck nonetheless. So, I mean, not as big as the F450 I drove, but yeah, they're basically the most within the specs of each other. But obviously the F450 was a little longer, of course, with that eight foot bed. But this feels nice. I mean, suspension is a little bit better tolerable. It's got a little bit of better dampening in the this, in this shocks. I but think this doesn't have any off-road, you know, tune shocks as the, uh, of the F450 did. But this is still, it does, it does ride a little stiff. Basically, as the same as the other F, uh, heavy duty F4 truck that I drove, but very nice, very quiet. Even it's a little quieter inside the cabin. Obviously, it doesn't have the off-road tires. This has got very minimal wind noise, road noise, or even tire noise. It's very nice, very quiet. Definitely a little more refined in this interior, for sure. Very, very nice the way this uh, Ram is riding. Obviously, yeah, it rides like a truck, it rides like a heavy duty truck, but it is a little smoother than the F450 to be to, for for sure. So obviously, guys, you have to compare, you know, apples to apples. You got to get like a, you know, a platinum model as well as a limited model from, from Ford to compare this, uh, you know, the F450 that I drove was basically a base XL model. But it was nice. It definitely looks fantastic. But this model here is really nice. Of course, you got the mega cab in this one. Uh, lots of room, lots of amenities. This feels like a kind of like a luxury car. You got all the great things about it. I want to lower the, um, let's go to climate here. So you got to kind of just get in here and climb it and I'm going to drop the AC just a little bit in terms of the AC uh, ventilation here. Let's go ahead, guys, and uh, it's a fantastic truck. Now, the suspension does seem, and if you put the power down here, yes, it does go. See, we're already at 60. Yeah, this has got a lot of power, a lot of torque. Wow, this thing just effortlessly get up to speed, guys. Really, really fun, awesome trucks. The, to basically put your foot down but obviously these are meant to tow so as you can see guys this thing this is a 4x4 model you know meant to tow over 30 35,000 pounds which is quite a bit of basically you know had most of the heavy haulers that you see on the road are these trucks and they're really good i mean this is a lot of truck for the money now in terms of price guys this truck here it is a use as you can see it's got 16,700 miles on it uh they're asking just under ninety thousand dollars as a used truck now obviously used cars are still even though they're kind of you know adjusting a little bit this kind of truck especially this kind of rare trucks like this you know a diesel mega cab you know full truck like this this ram 3500 are not easy to find very funny truck for a heavy duty and this is up there with an f you know a limited f-150 you know really really top of the line trucks are basically like kind of luxury cars i mean this has got everything you need you know cool seats heated seats heated steering wheel this is still right now it's really riding really smooth very smooth truck 
I not couldn't tell. I would like to have. I wouldn't tell that this thing, you know, is a heavy duty truck by any means. It's a stretch, especially with its interior and this beautiful leather. Uh, fantastic feeling truck, nonetheless. Obviously, I wish it had a sunroof, get a little more light inside, and of course, it's got semi dark tinted windows. Awesome truck, nonetheless, guys. Really awesome. And look, we have a a Ford Excursion. So that's basically based off the uh, older heavy duty truck winter. Those are rare. Those are, you find those things in good condition. That could be an expensive truck as well. Uh, they're, they're going up in value, especially for well-maintained diesel excursions. Awesome trucks as well. But man, this Ram is just fantastic. So let's go ahead and waste a little bit and let's see if we can, uh, let's go ahead and punch it a little bit. All right, there we go. Transmission takes a little bit to go. Oh, but there we go, guys. There we got the 1,075 tons. Yeah, it's just good. For this heavy truck that's probably three tons, it goes, it definitely goes. Let's go ahead and guys and go. Come on. Transmission is a little slow to catch up. Not as fast as the Ford's 10 speed, but uh, for sure this thing takes a little bit of, definitely has to go. But uh, awesome truck nonetheless, guys. Let me know what you think. Obviously, like I was mentioning, if you, unless you, you're probably gonna get something like this, unless you're gonna tow a big boat, you know, or multiple huge boats, or you know, lots of a uh, couple of race cars or really heavy duty equipment. You know, this is basically a truck that probably not very few people need, but a lot of people want for sure. Uh, this is a fantastic truck, and it could be a daily, but I'm sure this thing's gonna take 35. I don't know. I'll show. I'll put up what what how big the uh, tank of gas is on this thing, but it's it's gonna be a few. I would say $150 to fill up a truck like this. But an awesome truck nonetheless, guys. I hope you enjoy uh, being enjoying this review. Obviously, if I go in depth, if I miss something, guys, I apologize. I know this could be a lot of features for this trucks. And if you miss something, hope I don't get you know criticized for oh you miss this. Obviously, I, I I saw this truck, I had to get it, I try to acknowledge everything I can. Obviously, I might have missed some things. I might be off on some numbers, but I try to be the best, you know, driving experiences. And and basically this is my first, you know, heavy duty trucks or first dually I'm driving. This is the second dually i drive besides the f450 you'll see you guys probably before on the channel if you guys been enjoying this type of content guys please subscribe uh you know support the channel guys and uh we'll bring you some more trucks like this and this is really nice i mean this is kind of a rare truck really nice limited model of 3500 ram with that 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine this is probably one of the top trucks you can get in rare, rare model guys so this is still available at our bar in bar to ford i'll put the information guys down on the screen if you're interested uh, as I can say, guys, I don't work for about to afford. They just lending me these, these awesome trucks and cars for me to review. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.